All right, guys, what's up? Adam C. here for Hidden Jackpots. Look who I got. I got a special guest here. You might have heard of him, Sweatpants Joe. You might have, you might not have, but I'm on YouTube, Sweatpants Joe Eats. Check it out. I will leave the link below in the description just to make sure. Make sure you subscribe to this guy too. Basically, he's like the American version of me. You came all the way from the U.S. I, <laughs> so it's funny, like you say that, like I came all the way from the U.S. <laughs> where I live like three blocks from Canada. It's, it's fat. It would actually be faster for me to swim to Canada than it would be to drive over the bridge. But <laughs> you can't swim to Canada. It's against the law. So I have to drive over the bridge. But that's I'm practically Canadian, really. You are. Look, yeah. you even got the Toronto Raptor yeah, shirt. Yeah, got the Toronto Raptor shirt. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all set. You excited today? So we are at World Street Food Tours. I don't know if you can see it in the back, the blue food truck there. <laughs> and, you know, I've been here before. Joe has never been here before. Never. <laughs> but we're gonna try their take on a Reuben sandwich, which I believe is corned beef, Swiss cheese, some other stuff. It's usually got <laughs> Russian dressing. Oh, so you know. Good. Yeah, because I'm and, not familiar with it. And sauerkraut. And it's, it's corned beef, it could be um, pastrami. One or the other, usually. So we'll see what we get. Um, hopefully it's delicious. I'm sure it'll be delicious. It's usually served on a rye bread. That's, but he said he's got a panini press, which is cool. It's usually like a toasted rye. Um, I've been to enough Jewish delis to know <laughs> like what a, what a good Reuben sandwich is. So I'm looking forward to this. You, it's hard to find good Reubens in this area. So if this one's really good, then they've got themselves a hidden jackpot. Sweet. We got ourselves an expert here. You want to go eat? <laughs> yes. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> All right, we got our food. Wanna yeah. open this up? We got our napkins. Luckily they gave us napkins. Okay, this looks good. Does it look good? It looks really good. Oh my god. You guys wanna see this? Let's let's hide it from them for a second. Hide it? I just want to enjoy it's, it for myself. It smells really good. It smells delicious. And there's pickles. Do you put the pickles on? So I'm glad that they did that on the side like that. I'm gonna put them on, but it's up to you how you want to eat them. And when they put them on the side like that, there you go. That's let's take a look. Yeah. Can you see? I don't even know if you can see. I don't want to drop it. Yeah, just take it out. Right, take it out. Let's take a look. I think it's gonna be messy. Oh, oh yeah. Look Panini at pressed. Look at Ooh. so I'll 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 dissect Ooh. it. Come over here. Look yeah, at that. there we go. Okay, look at that's the corn beef. That's a thumbnail right there. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the corned beef. It looks like um, I'm not seeing much in the sauerkraut department, but there is some. I just have the sandwich upside down. Yeah, I think it's on the bottom. Yeah, but all right, I can't wait bite. anymore. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I can't even speak. I'm speechless. So, he said he was brining this corned beef for three days, and... For ten days, wasn't it? Ten days? Ten days. Ten <laughs> days, my bad. <laughs> and it melts in your mouth. Like, when you bite it, like, you can almost drink it. Yeah, it's, it's so tender, and it goes down so smooth. That's something I'm not used to. Like, I've had corned beef before, mm -hmm. but it's not, like, melt in your mouth like this. Yeah. Mm. I think I should have kept my container over here to mm -hmm. catch all the uh, the meat falling out. I do taste the sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bite I got some. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different kind of sauerkraut than I'm used to, but it's good. It's um, it's not as sour, so that's a good thing. Not so sauerkraut. Not so sauerkraut. <laughs> yeah, but still delicious. Very, uh, pickled cabbage is all you can't go wrong with it. So. Mm. So, what do you think? Delicious? Mm -hmm. I don't do ratings out of 10 or anything. Mm -hmm. You do? Well, you don't do out of 10. Mm -mm. Tell them your ratings for those that don't know. So I usually do on a scale of PU, it stinks, to sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. This is getting sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. It's really good. It's... um. I, I just I like it. The you could 
the, the, the quality of the corned beef is excellent. The cheesiness, the, the, the panini press, I'm not, it's, I, what is it? What do you think? This is a ciabatta bread? I don't know. Sourdough maybe? No, it's not sourdough, but it's, it, whatever it is, it's really good. It's pressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's pressed and it's delicious. See what I did there? I let Joe do all the talking so I could just eat. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> mm. All right. So I agree with Joe. This is delicious. You glad you came over for this? Oh, yeah, totally. Like I said before, it's very hard <laughs> finding a good pastrami sandwich in this area, or a good Reuben sandwich in this area. I mean, this is corned beef. But that being said, this is really good. If you're in this area, you should definitely come. It's on the intersection of, what is it, Wood, Woodridge? Wood, Woodbine, Woodbine and Mars, Montrose. Woodbine Even, and I Montrose. I live here and I got it wrong. Woodbine right. and Montrose. You notice there's a sign on the corner that says food truck with a big thumb pointing to it. Pretty easy to find. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. Um, if you're American and you're over here, you should come and check it out. It's excellent. If you're Canadian and you live here, you should be here all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really good. How are, are they open all the time? So right now they have their winter hours. They're closed Saturday and Sunday. And then it's limited hours during the week. But I think two nights out of the week, they're open till like 6.30, 7.30. Okay. Yeah, I could so. tell we're like in an industrial area. Mm -hmm. So they probably just do like lunch breaks for people in the area. Yeah. But it's, it's excellent. And yeah. Like I said, if you're my American friends and you're here and you're hanging out, definitely make your way over here. Get off of Clifton Hill. Yes. You could, you, Tony Romas will be there. Just get, <laughs> o get over here and check it out. <laughs> Easiest way to get here, too, from Clifton Hill. Catch the 420 to Montrose. Take a right, and you'll, you'll see it. It's right on Montrose. You know what we didn't do yet? What's that? A pickle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try one of these pickles. You didn't even put a pickle on your sandwich. I forgot. <laughs> I got excited. I'll just put it on the top. It's a pickle. It's not a bad pickle. Mm. It's a pickle. <laughs> mm. All right. Any last words, Joe? That's a great pickle, actually. I really like that. Take a bite with the sandwich with the pickle. Oh, I got to try it. It adds a whole new dimension. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's good. All right. Now, any last words? Is that your last words? Check out my <laughs> channel. We're going to eat a steak. That's coming up as well. So, still chewing. Apologize. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Obviously, give this video a thumbs up because, you know, we all need it. We all need a thumbs and up. Comment, and comment below. Have you been here? Do you like Rubens? If not, you have a ton of other stuff to eat. Tell us another one of your favorite hidden mm. jackpots to check out. That's it. World Street Food Tour. Sweatpants Joe. I'm Adam C. We're out. Ciao.